I'd like to introduce you to our new VWH ModCon double stack units. They come in two sizes. Our uh, larger size is a million uh, seven uh, BTUs, and our smaller one is one million BTU. Uh, the concept on this is to provide the customer redundancy by taking two of our standard ModCons and st stacking them. But uh, also, the, uh, the concept is to have redundancy. So if one unit needs to be serviced, the other one can take over the load while we're doing the servicing. Um, all the piping is pre-manifolded, including the venting, and on the gas supply is also uh, manifolded together between the two heaters. So all you have is one connection on your gas, one connection on your uh, supply and return, and your vent is one connection uh, going out uh, for your venting. Um, the electronics are all set up, so uh, they'll stage for you automatically. We even connect up the uh, communication line and preset them so they'll stage accordingly. You can uh, install up to four of these ModCon double stack uh, VWHs in a single job, um, and uh, they will then cascade and can give you a tremendous amount of turndown. Each one comes with a, uh, a 10 to 1 turndown, each uh, VWH uh, double stack unit, and as you add more, uh, your turndown gets a lot greater. So uh, what we'll do is uh, let's take a look a little closer at the design and some of the features of the ModCon VWH double stack units. The ModCon double stack uh, comes with an electronic display where you can program your temperature set points. Um, you can also see a lot of the uh, system parameters in our, our uh, 40 character LCD display here where it will give you actual readouts of what your supply and return is doing what your system is doing. Um, it'll even have this little LED light on that illuminates blue indicating that the unit is set up as a master and that the top unit is set up as a follow-up. Um, we have these arrows and reset and enter key which allows you to toggle through the different menus uh, in order to see what the system is doing again, see fault history and also to do, to do your setup uh, on a new installation. So uh, the new display is very functional, um, it gives you a lot of features, and it helps you uh, really tune in your system and see what the system is actually doing. Now let's take a closer look at the piping and how the, uh, how the ModCon VWH double stack is actually uh, designed. Um, the mechanicals are all to the left of the unit, and you get a better idea, I can show you all the different connections, but let's start from the first connection, which is We've manifolded your gas piping, so that's all done. Um, we've created so you just have one uh, connection point to the unit. Uh, if you look over here, you see this black uh, conduit here. We actually tie in the electrical too, so you only have to bring in uh, line voltage into one boiler, which would be the bottom boiler, the master, um, and that will power up the uh, follower. And we even wire up the communication cable for you. So this is all pre-programmed. The cascading is all set between the two boilers. Um, and the piping, so you only have one connection, all the programming's done, and uh, all the wiring's basically done for you. Another feature of the system, as you can see here, we do the manifolds. Um, and the manifolds are all set up reverse return, so your inlet, you would just have one connection here, here's your outlet. We even tap and put the system sensor in there. So there's a communication uh, going back to the master boiler, to maintain a outlet temperature in the common manifold between the two units. So when one's firing, we're trying to hit that set point that you've established going to and from your uh, storage tanks. And then when the other one's firing, that blended temperature is again monitored through the sensor port and the feedback goes back to the control. So we can stage the boilers accordingly to match the, the temperature requirement and the overall demand of the system at any point in time. Um, on the manifolds, you'll notice that we have our safeties, our flow switches, which monitor the flow rate through each block to make sure we have the appropriate flow um, and activation of those flow switches. While the unit is in operation, we have our pressure and temperature relief valves in each boiler independently. We have our high limit with our manual reset all pre-wired in, and then drains off of the manifold just in case you have to do any servicing or draining or potentially cleaning long term through the individual block. Um, again, these are all pre-piped for you, so the whole idea here is to have two boilers, give you greater redundancy, I mean greater turndown, 
Each boiler is five to one turn down. The total turn down is ten to one. And you have the uh, each boiler will operate independently, uh, but with the common manifold, they it just gives you one hookup for your entire system. And so, if one does happen to go down for whatever reason, or you're doing maintenance again, you have that backup. Um, even on the venting, the venting we've tied in our venting, so we have one exhaust that we uh, you, you need to hook up to. You can transition this to PVC, uh, PP material, or utilize stainless steel. We have adapters which fit into this connection, this 8-inch connection, and that can adapt to the different materials you need. And that's within the manual. And these vents are all tied in. They're all si situated. One of the important things when you set up your unit, we ship this all pre-kitted for you in the box. Um, so all you have to do is tighten up the individual clamps on this, set it up, make sure it's pitched a quarter of an inch back to the unit, and you're ready to go. Inlets can be uh, uh, manifolded together um, uh, on the job uh, to bring in combustion air to the system. So again, the unit has a lot of features to it, both our million and million seven VWH double stack. They, they are tied in to uh, large storage tanks, 250 gallon, 175 gallons, some big storage tanks to give you a lot of hot, hot water. And with a 10 to 1 turndown, you can go from 170,000 all the way up to a million seven. It gives you a lot of power. These things will condense like crazy um, and give you a tremendous payback in your job with the, the supply of a lot of hot water and a very good control of the, the temperature long term for larger commercial jobs. So on your next job, please, uh, BWH's uh, ModCon Double Stack are a great way to go. Uh, we have these in individual sizes too, where we just don't have a, it's not double stacked and common manifolded, but we got individual models too, uh, our 850 BWH and our 500, and we have other models available too that can be tied into storage tanks for uh, domestic hot water production. You'll see that we have a flow switch. This flow switch is all pre-wired. It's all done through these connections, so if you ever have to replace or service it, it's easy to do. This is all uh, pre-wired back into the main controller. Um, we have our pressure and temperature gauge, which allows you to monitor the temperature and pressure on the outlet side of the system, so you can see what your pressures are and what your temperature is. Um, also, we have our pressure and temperature relief valve for each module, um, and these are all pre-installed and pre-tested at the factory. Yeah, this is our high limit on each ma outlet manifold. We have a high limit which monitors the temperature. It'll trip once the temperature gives, it gets above a certain temperature limit that the system is designed for. Uh, I think that's about 194 degrees. And then you have your manual reset to, to reset it and to operate the system. So it's a, an additional safety that's required on these uh, VWHs. And then finally we have our drain which allows you to drain the uh, heat exchanger and also provide some chemical cleaning if necessary over long-term uh, maintenance of the system. This is the combustion system you will have in a VWH. We use the Dung's uh, NBC 1000 valve. All your adjustments are right up front here. Um, to even service this valve, you can just simply unscrew these blocks here, um, shut the gas coming in. There's a shut off in the back there. Um, and you can simply slide this out and unplug it your 110 volt off of this relay that uh, uh, we use uh, off of our electronics. Your spark ignition comes from here. It, your spark igniter is connected to obviously your spark electrode uh, where it ignites the fuel. We bring the gas and air through the system into the inlet. We create a vacuum with the blower. And basically, we're mi this is our mixer here where we're mixing air and gas. And we're doing it at a one-to-one -one ratio to give us uh, mixing that into the blower, into the head of the burner, and then igniting the fuel uh, to create very clean uh, combustion. And the DC drive on this with the pulse width control allows us to modulate the fan to only put into the heat exchanger to heat the uh, in order to only heat enough uh, based on the target set point on the common manifold uh, we're trying to achieve. So as that set point, as we start to float away and we require more energy, we basically uh, increase the uh, fan speed, uh, which increases the amount of energy going into the heat exchanger, into the water, and thus uh, gives us uh, more output. Um, so 
we modulate the way it works between the two combustion systems is one combustion system will work uh, it'll go up to 60% uh, of its load um, once it gets above 60% it splits the load between the top and then they both come up evenly until they uh, match the uh, their maximum capacity and they'll do the same thing on the way down so what we're trying to do is we're trying to spread the load evenly between the two and we're trying to maximize the efficiency of the system based on the heat exchanger design and the combustion system and the variation that the combustion system gives you. It's a very highly efficient system. Um, as a domestic hot water heater, it's probably the highest efficiency you'll see in the market. Uh, this thing will condense like crazy um, and it will supply a uh, very quick payback in very large commercial domestic hot water jobs. All the VWH have to be, they all have to be connected to large storage tanks. Um, there is no, uh, we do not allow direct connect to the system. Um, and they'll have pumps that'll go to and from those large storage tanks. And then uh, the system will basically monitor that temperature um, when there's a requirement and uh, fire the burners accordingly. So this is uh, basically the combustion system and how the VWH uh, will work. One of the other options with the combustion system is we have these two wires that are all pre-wired for you with these connectors with the jumpers in them. And you can mount high and low gas pressure switches on this MBC 1000 um, if your jurisdiction requires it. In some large commercial jobs they require both a low and a high, uh, a high gas pressure switch to monitor uh, the gas pressure in, in the unit and to make sure that uh, they meet the requirements of some CSD1 requirements that individual states have. So we have that option available. It's all pre-wired. So you get the two switches, you mount them, and then there's a female cable that just gets simply connected up to these two leads here. It's a very nice way. Everything we do is we try to pre-wire any of our options so it's very easy to uh, install in the field.